Hey guys, on today's video, I want to teach you how to set up your brand new iMac. This is a setup video for brand new beginners for Macs. If you guys never had a Mac before, this video is for you because you're going to start from zero. That said, I do have a separate video that teaches you, for those of you who had a Mac before, how to transfer things from your old iMac to your new one. Really, really easy. So let's get started with the basics. Now to charge right here your keyboard, it's actually pretty easy. You're going to see this here. Now you won't need to charge it up right away, but if you find out that it's not turning on, then you might. For most of you, you shouldn't. This should come with some charge already. You're gonna plug this in here, this cable that you guys got with your iMac, and then this will go on the back of your iMac where you have a USB-C port. So just plug it in anywhere there. And once you plug it in, it's charging. So that's how you guys can charge your keyboards. Now the exact same thing will be with your trackpads or with your mouse. You're always gonna see this, and then all you guys have to do, again, same cable, plug it in there, plug this into the back of your iMac, and there we go. You guys get to charge this up. So that's how you guys can charge this as well. Once again, they should come with some charge already, but to turn this on for the very first time, just light this to the side. You should see green, that means it's on. Turn it off, just slide it back. If you guys don't see green, it's off. Same thing with your keyboard. To turn off your keyboard or turn it on, right up here, you guys will see that it's off at the moment. All I have to do is just slide this to the side and that will turn it on. So that's green, on, slide it, and then it's off. So that's how you guys can turn this off and on. Right now, obviously leave it on because we're gonna set up your Mac. Now something that didn't come with your Mac and you sh I should maybe look into is one of these hubs. It doesn't have to be like one like this. There's way better ones out there. There's some that even have a power source. Those are the best ones you guys can get. And you guys might want these so you don't have to reach for the back of your iMac every single time you want to unplug or plug a USB-C or even a USB. Well, for most of you, if you have anything that's USB, regular USB, so USB stick or anything like that, external hard drive, you will have to get an adapter. So anything like this will work out just fine. And this is gonna be good so you guys don't have to reach for the back of your iMac every single time you guys want to plug something in. Now this is a hub, but it's also gonna help you out with anything that you guys have USB and not USB-C. Because USB-C, it's this type of thing. And most of you don't have USB sticks that are like that or even external hard drives. So the next thing we have to set up is our power. So this is the power that you guys got. So here it is, that's how it looks like. And what we're gonna do is just take a look at back here. Because you also got this cable. So all you guys have to do is just plug this in back here, and there we go. So this part will go to your Mac, and this part to your outlet. So let me just show you the back of your iMac, and that's where we hook up our power. So let's just do that. So you're gonna take your cable, and all you have to do is just put it in there. It is magnetic, so it's gonna just go in by itself, basically, and then just hook it up to your outlet, and you're ready to go. Now, in order to turn on your Mac, on the back, you guys will notice on the, your left hand side, if you're looking at it straight, so if you're looking at the screen, on the back, you will notice this button. That button's your power button. So that's on the back. Just hold on to it, press it, and that's gonna turn on. So we're just gonna press on it, and it's gonna turn on. So once you turn on your Mac for the very first time, you should see something like this. Again, all you have to do is press the button. From there, it's gonna tell you to turn on anything such as your trackpad, your keyboard, everything, which we already showed you. So just make sure those are turned on. And if they are, at this point in time, just go ahead and scroll or touch anything on your keyboard to get started. So it knows that you're doing that. Now on my trackpad, I'm just moving it around to get started. I'm gonna go here where you guys are gonna see this. So just click right there. And at this point, just choose your language. So go ahead and scroll through. You can choose any language that you would like. As you guys can see, there's a lot of them. And you can select any of them. And once you select it, go right here on this arrow on the right-hand side. In this case, we're gonna choose the first one. It says English. Then we're just gonna click right here on this arrow and we're gonna keep going with the whole setup. Now remember that this setup is for brand new users. So if you want to transfer your information over from one Mac to another, I do have a separate video for that. But this video is for complete beginners. So we're gonna keep going. And in this part, you just have to choose right here, uh, whichever country or region that you're at. I'm just going to continue next up. Accessibility, just go into not now, unless you need to set up any of these. But for us, it's just not now. 
far right hand side on the bottom then choose your wi-fi network now, if you don't see your wi-fi network here there is that option on the far left hand side on the bottom there is other network options for now what we're going to do is just set up right here second design which is our network put in your password once you put in your password click on continue on and you do need wi-fi for this some people do this throughout a hotspot you can do that because that's wi-fi after all and the reason you need wi-fi is because updates it's gonna do a lot throughout using your internet all right under privacy again just going to next then from here if you had a mac from before this would be the part where i would tell you hey just choose time machine and i already showed you how to do that if you guys are from pc if you're coming from that you want to transfer anything over you could choose that option if you're coming from pc i don't suggest using any of these options just because all you have to do is just copy and paste your files into your mac and that's it so that's if you're coming from PC. If you had a Mac, for sure use Time Machine. That's the best way to go. But of course, if you're brand new to this, then you don't need this. So you choose not now on the left-hand side, bottom left-hand side. From here, your iCloud. Okay, so if you don't have an Apple ID at this point in time, create one. So that's our option right down here below. You're going to see create new Apple ID. However, if you don't want to import anything into your Mac, you don't want an Apple ID tied to it, you could set that up later. However, again, if you're brand new to this, I highly suggest creating Apple ID. It is free, and that way you guys keep everything on your Apple ID, including your passwords and all that stuff. You could, if you want to, keep it as a backup in your Apple ID. Now, if you're just setting this up for somebody else and you want them to deal with this later, you can always choose on setup later, and that way you're not importing anything personal into it as well. So I'm gonna show you both options at this point in time. So if we click on create new Apple ID, it's gonna take us here. So you just have to choose your new Apple ID. So at this point, just your birthday. So whatever your birthday is, just go ahead and choose it. And from here, scroll down just a little bit for me. Then I'm gonna go into continue on, put in your first name, last name, your email address, that means Whatever email you guys have, Gmail, Hotmail, anything like that. Password, create a password, all right? So this will be your new password for your Apple ID. I highly suggest not using the same password that you use for your email. Just create a new one. And by the way, whatever email that you put up here, you're gonna use, that's gonna be your Apple ID. Then down here below, you're gonna see announcements. You can do a check mark there and then just go into next, but you don't have to. So that would be how you guys would create an Apple ID if you wanted to. However, let's say you don't wanna deal with that just yet. You can always go into setup later. So you would click there, you would use skip, and then you would keep going. Again, you do need an app ID to download anything onto your Mac. So if you guys want to download any apps from the App Store, you will need that Apple ID. So I highly suggest not doing this unless you're doing that. Anyways, um, whether you skipped or you created an Apple ID, you would see this screen next. Just click on agree, click on agree, next up, then create your account. So you can actually put anything for your account. I can put tech and design, YouTube channel, for example, or I can put my real name if I wanted to. I can put my account name, which can be the same thing as my full name or a different name. So I can put tech design as my account name. It's much shorter. I can create a password. So create a password that makes sense to you. And before we could skip this, however, now we do need to create a password. So I'm just gonna create something really, really easy. And you can always do a hint. So you can always give a hint for your password or you can just skip that part. I'm just gonna skip that part, going to next. So on down here below, we'll continue on. Almost everything that we're doing right now, we can change later on. So it's not a huge deal. However, some things are a little bit difficult to change, such as your account name. Your full name, not really, but your account name, because that's gonna be your folder and all that, your home folder. It's not difficult, but it's a hassle to do it. So it's better if you choose something that you really want at this point. So right now it's creating that account for us. And I highly suggest to enable your location services. That way you guys can use Google Maps and all that stuff without any problems. Actually, you can use the maps from Apple themselves without any problems and all that stuff. You can share your stuff or not. I'm going to share everything because I do want to improve my computer. And right here, screen time. This, I would suggest heading it up if this is for your kids. So you can set up right now screen time. However, for most adults that I know, they don't really care how much screen time they spend on their Macs because it's usually for work. 
and that's it. So I'm going to just put that set up later on the bottom left hand side. Siri. Siri is something that's for sure you're going to use. And um, if you have an iPhone, you know how it works. You can say, hey, Siri, and then it's going to just go on and answer you. So you can enable, hey, Siri, if you want or not. It's your choice. We're going to teach you how to set it up, but you can always just uncheck this and just continue on. Right now, we're going to just show you how to set this up. You can choose the voice. Hi, I'm S Hi, I'm Hi. I'm Hi, I'm Hi. I'm Siri. Hi, I'm Siri. So choose that's the voice you'd like me to use. You can change it later in system settings. So this Siri voice is the most uh, normal one, I would say. Not normal, but what we're used to is voice number four. Or you can just let it choose for you. But in this case, we're just going to choose number four. Continue on. And right now, it, you're just going to set it up. So we're going to go on to continue. Siri, how's the weather? Hey Siri, send a message. Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, get directions home. Siri, play some music. And that's it. So all you guys had to do was read what it told you, and that's it. So it recognizes your voice. We're going to continue on. You can share your audio recordings or not. A lot of people don't like this, so you can put that now. Or you can share it. I'm going to share. Continue on. Such a idea. This is something that's on your keyboard. So all new keyboards have this. Older keyboards with older Macs do not have this. So you can choose to set this up later, or you can set it up now. And the way that this works, I'm going to show you. Here's the keyboard. So to set it up, it's going to tell us to put our finger there and we're going to tap it several times. So as you guys can see on my screen, it's now being set up. I'm just going to tap it several times and then I'm going to keep tapping. Just use the one finger, keep tapping there and you're just tapping. You're not doing a clicking sound and um, you're just barely tapping it. You don't have to press down on it. Then you're going to see this continue on. So go ahead and continue. You can choose your look. So light mode would be what you're used to usually. Dark mode is exactly how this shows you. Everything's going to be dark with a dark background. For this video to work better, I'm going to have to use light mode. I personally like dark mode though. Or automatic, it's going to turn on light mode during the day and dark mode during the night. So it's better for your eyes. Well, softer for your eyes. We're going to continue on and here we go. We're basically done with the whole setup and the apps that you guys get on your Macs, the com default apps will be down here below. So let me just show you in this view, it's a little bit easier to show you everything you guys get. So these are the default apps that you guys get immediately and that's it. There's nothing else around it. Let me just open up this folder so you guys can see a little bit more. These are another few apps that you guys get and that's it. So you don't get Microsoft Word, for example. A lot of people ask me if you get Final Cut Pro with it. No. But you do get iMovie, which is identical to Final Cut Pro. They're almost the same thing. And if you look at GarageBand, you get GarageBand, Apple TV. Well, that's just an app. It's a hub. And then you guys get all this other stuff as well. You do get pages, which would be like Microsoft Word. You get numbers, which would be like Excel. And you also get somewhere in here, there's Keynote, which is over here on the far right hand side. That would be like PowerPoint. So those are the main things that you should know. Now let me just get out of this. And to go in there, for example, all I had to do was go into Launchpad and it's gonna show me all my apps. So all the apps that I have there are those. And then we have Safari, we got messages, your mail, you guys can go there. Obviously for your email, you can go into Safari, you can download Google Chrome if that's what you like. I know a lot of people are used to that. And the very first thing that you should do on your Mac is actually update it. It's going to system preferences. And then from system settings, all you have to do is type up here in the search update, software update. And you're going to check out the latest update. Click on update now. And that's it. Right now, you guys can get started using your Mac. And that would be it for this setup video. If you guys would like a full manual, I do have a manual for your new Macs. And... I do have several reviews about other Macs as well. As far as this video goes, we are all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.